few videos. Uh, so far, I've only been able to get two out. But hey, that's all right. This is uh, something I've been working on. It's a uh, boiler stand uh, for frying turkeys. And I'm cleaning out the pot. It's got a couple of years of accumulation and uh, goop that's in it. So I've been heating it up throughout the day, scrubbing it out and just letting it sit. In a little bit, I'm going to scrub it out one last time and it should be ready to go. Um, this thing boils fast, uh, too. Uh, just water. Um, and it'll heat up really quick. All right, guys. Show you what we are working on. Sand wrap. Everybody knows the sand wrap. I put a pull start on here because these had stripped out and I had bought uh, the taps and uh, the helicoils to uh, go ahead and put those in. And of course I lost them in all my piles of crap and then I happened to find them again and I thought well let's do it today. But I only found half of it. So we're doing it halfway, doing it a half ass way rather. Don't do it this now. Way. We're back. But before I go into much more detail about what I did Let's do some shout outs to people that have subscribed. It's been a few days since I've done anything. As always, guys, Sulphur City Designs for all your off road mower mudding, modding, and stickage needs. T shirts, hoodies, custom works, decals. Glad you're doing better, man. And actually, uh, Doc Sprocket, um, I've coordinated with uh, Sulphur City Designs, and so they're sending your sticker uh, that you won um, with uh, the batch of other stickers. So, Two for one there. Southern Off-Road Mowers on Facebook, guys. Go to it. Post some junk. We love it when you do, but you don't have to. But why not? Phoenix Chubbs, thanks for subscribing, man. I really appreciate it. Nathan Goats. Oh, hang on. Averlin Pwned. Thanks for subscribing. I hope I didn't butcher the name too much. Kevin Daly. Thank you, Kevin. Robert Allen. Sean Burroughs, Matt Stevens, VIPOND50, that's all one word. J Hessian33, all one word too. Uh, Zeb Gilbert, thanks Zeb. Pete Seeley, John Soma, Blake Chelsea, Shine, Michael Paul, Southern Born Man, I like that one. Michael Crouch, Raymond Earl. Thanks for all the shares, man. I really appreciate it. These are the people that have been doing a lot of sharing of uh, my videos. Mac One Ford, Tinker Jim, T Man Mutter, Sharing Machines there, guys. Thank you. Jordan Skillin, Rob's Pack and Shine, Novi Daily, Chevy 629902 Warrior, Preston Golden. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribing. And thanks for all the shares, guys. Now, okay, guys, now we're, we're back. back. Now, you can see I've already. tapped it and put my helicoils in there. I decided to go with helicoils this time and uh, the little tool for inserting it and uh, breaking off that bottom piece uh, if you wanted to do that is of course nowhere to be seen. Uh, it was in the Ziploc with the uh, uh, helicoils and I can't find it now. So I had to improvise. Oh, sorry about that. And I put this in there. This is a 17 horsepower. This one accepts the metal uh, starter gears, which is really good. Uh, the starter that she put on here uh, should be one that has the metal uh, teeth on it. So this is going to be great. What we're going to do is go ahead and put this on there. We're going to see if this thing will hold at all. Um, you know, normally you want to be careful when you're tapping it out. I was kind of annoyed because I didn't have the little tool. And so I just put it on the end of a drill. That's why I said I did this half ass. Y'all don't do it like I did it. We're just going to see if it works. Though. Uh, I've known a couple of people who've said the only way they tap something uh, or drill it out is uh, with a drill. They don't use any hand, uh, hand taps. At work, uh, what I do uh, with taps and everything, uh, all we use are hand taps. So, go figure. We're going to get this guy bolted on here. This thing hadn't been cranked in two years, probably. We're just going to see if it'll bump over. More to okay. gas. And it is on, in place, on there pretty good. I checked the starter out. It seemed like it worked okay. Uh, it bumped over pretty well. 
I didn't didn't uh, load test it or anything. Now I'm going to check the oil. I don't I don't have the shroud over here on this side, but it's like uh, 50 degrees outside, and we're just going to crank it up and go backward and forward once or twice, if it'll crank, um, and see what it'll do. If the starter works, if it doesn't pull the everything out, and uh, if the carburetor's not trashed. A lot of ifs in there. More come, guys. Okay, guys, now we're back. Fresh fuel, a little bit down the carburetor. And we are going to uh, put the uh, power box to it. I don't keep uh, batteries in all of the ones I have to play with. Because i got like four of them. I'm not going to buy a battery for each one. I've got a car battery in that one car battery came out of a, a kudzu that I had for a long time I've got a pull start on the uh, Murray Gator and there is no battery on it and then uh, the other two that I, I'm that are in the works uh, will have batteries hookups and I'll just swap a hot battery over to them I'm just not going to keep hot batteries for play toys uh, like this uh, this will be I don't know what for but I got it, so we're going to crank it up. All right, guys, let me get a power box. I don't have a tripod, so once I get it cranked up, if I get it cranked up, we'll turn the camera back okay, on. Guys, okay, guys, no joy. We're going to have to uh, take the front off and adjust the overhead valves and get them adjusted down. Probably also going to replace this coil wire. Um, well, actually, the whole coil. Uh, there's a couple of nicks, and I noticed it was arcing out on here. You can see where I taped it up. Uh, down there just to try to get it to bump over but the uh, overhead valves are too far out of adjustment so we're gonna have to uh, do that uh, for another day maybe tomorrow before I go out of town don't know but the nice thing is the starter is holding nicely uh, it's in place so we might be able to use this motor uh, for something uh, if I decide to get rid of this thing. Who knows, guys? Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for sharing as well. I really appreciate it. And try to do a couple of videos while I'm down south. <sighs> Gratuitous shot of the Cub Kadir. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all go make some mayhem. This has been a damn cat production.